You're listening to the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show on the Big Talker, 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Welcome back, folks, to the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show here on the Big Talker, 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Uh, big thank you to Derek Goulet with Fairway Independent Mortgage for coming on the program and helping us better understand the mortgage side of the business. Um, you know, we had a really nice uh, client appreciation party last week. We rented out uh, Mainland Container Company right there in Mount Pleasant as it uh, kind of leads into Sullivan's Island. I had a nice big oyster roast and um, a lot of folks that were there that were past clients had obviously uh, heard of us uh, on our radio show and decided to do business with us. So first of all, for those of you that are listening, thank you for coming. Thank you for your business. We we really appreciate it. Um, and one of the things that I asked kind of in that, in that uh, event was, you know, what did they think of the show? What could be done differently? And, um, you know, obviously that, that question takes courage because this is uh, a show that I just, I love doing. I really do enjoy coming here and helping you guys better understand the real estate market and, and doing it in a way where, I guess if I'm being honest, I don't necessarily have to worry about the uh, feelings or opinions of somebody that I might be sitting across the table from. I get to just tell you like it is and you take what you want from it. Uh, but I do want to say thank you to those of you that listen to this program and rely on the information within it to help shape your understanding of this real estate market. Is now the right time? What do I need to know before I start this process? Uh, those are the kinds of questions that we want to answer on this program. So thank you for for tuning in consistently. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, by the way, uh, we've got a bunch of versions of this radio show going back for almost 10 years. Uh, on YouTube. We've got over 700 videos on YouTube. So um, just search the Brian Beatty team on YouTube and you can watch videos. You can uh, put a face to the name or the voice um, or you can go to our website, listingsincharleston.com. A lot of great information there. Um, or of course, you can give me a call, 843-800-0065. That's 843-800-0065. Now I want to just finish this one thought really quickly, which was the article that I had mentioned that came out a few weeks ago that was really boasting the the fact that you know home sales had spiked you know almost 15% in February uh compared to January and that the median price had dropped for the first time in over a decade and it really did sound like you know hey wow we 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 might be you know turning a bit of a corner here right well the you know the article did go on to mention that sales in February this year were actually about 23% lower than last February but again what they didn't mention is the fact that This was the worst February for home sales in the past 10 years. Now, locally, it was the worst February in the past five years, which is frankly somewhat expected when you you think about the inventory and the interest rate environment before COVID. But if you look at the number of homes that went under contract in February, which is what we call pending sales, we haven't seen a number that low since February of 2015, when there were literally three times the number of homes for sale compared to what we have or what we had for sale in February of this year. So, you know, then you've, you've got a bunch of, you know, real estate agents using specific data sets to kind of form their opinion or, or rather your opinion of the real estate market based on, you know, what they decide to share. You know, they get to pick and choose kind of little, little data sets and, and data points and, and say, hey, look at this one thing. Now's a great time to buy. And, and that's one of the reasons why I think folks uh, really have a tough time trusting real estate agents. That's why we don't have a very good reputation is because for some reason, it's always the right time to buy or sell a home. You ever notice that? Well, as an industry, here's the reality. We're made up of mostly operators, right? Not owners. A lot of people with real estate licenses are transaction facilitators. And, and there's a lot to be said for you know staying in your lane. Uh, I'm certainly not uh, an economist. But there are some, very few, uh, that take the time and commit to being a resource for their clients by educating themselves on the market, the local economy. They look for new ways to you know, bring value to their clients through programs or incentives or through relationships like folks with Derek. And they not only help you get the job done, but they help you make money in the process. And as I was mentioning to Derek, you know, the opportunity to lose money in real estate is pretty massive when you think about it. You know, price the home incorrectly. Ignore the repair that the agent said was was fine. Um, 
lazy negotiations, you know, maybe agents that are just concerned with getting the deal done and moving on to the next one, um, not having a full service mindset or surrounding themselves with other service providers that you're going to interact with at some point throughout your, you know, your, your transaction, whether it be the closing attorney or the lender or, um, you know, maybe the contractor, if you need to get some work done, I would say on average, there's an opportunity for everyone to win or lose at least $10,000 would, would be my guess on, on a typical everyday transaction. Obviously, the higher in price you go, the more you stand to either win or lose, which is why the agent that you hire matters so much, especially in this kind of market. I would really be looking toward the people or looking for the people that have sold real estate in this type of environment because if they haven't, then... And I, I noticed this on appointments that we go on, on people we talk with, that people are still being kind of fed the same lines that they were being fed during, you know, the really hot market of the beginning of last year and the year before. And we're just in a different market now. It takes a different set of skills. It takes a slightly different approach. It takes more proactive measures and commitments from the agent that you hire. And it's important, I think, to have options when working with that agent in terms of what it is you're trying to accomplish. Do you need to sell really quickly? Are you trying to sell for the most value? It doesn't matter how long it takes. Are you somewhere in the middle? And that's why we have listing commission plans. You know, We can get you as low as 2.4%. Um, so if that's something that I can help you with, if you want to learn more about that, if you just want to have a conversation with somebody uh, that does this at a very high level, and I invite you to give me a call or text me if that if you'd prefer to do that. But my number is 843-800-0065. That's 843-800-0065. Or check us out online, listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. And finally, if you prefer, you can just send me an email. Uh, the email address is brian, at, with an I, at brianbadyteam.com. Stick around for the last few minutes of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show right here on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Visit Brian Beatty's website at listingsincharleston.com. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show continues next on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA. 